Hello, everybody, and welcome back to what is potentially the last Houston Hammerhead season. And we have Rod the Bod now, medium franchise player there, our star centerman at 95 overall. Not too shabby. He's basically Connor McDubstep 2.0, a two-way forward. We don't really have a sniper on that first line, but, I mean, Boss has a pretty solid shooting category, and so does Raymond, so we're, we're okay in that regard and one thing that i did want to do before we get started actually is go to the free agents list and there's one player who again does not want a lot because nobody signed them so i'm going to try to get nick robertson for like our third or fourth line or something like that because he's actually very solid i mean he's a sniper but um we can still play him depth he has three and a half defense and hopefully he can score some goals for us. Oh my goodness, you can just steal this guy. All right, sure. Let's give him that because I can. And now we're going to go ahead and advance a day until we get him. If we get him, I suppose. There is the possibility that he says, absolutely not, screw you. So we do have to consider that. But let's go to roster moves and bring him up in the system. Robertson. Okay, NHL. And I'm probably sending down Kapari, which hurts me. But anyway, um, confirm. Yes. And one thing I wanted to check, defenseman in the system. So you uh, shoot left. I want a right-handed defenseman. This guy, hmm, seems to be a bit better. Isaac Davies. Okay. Or maybe I'll sign someone. I'm not sure. I just don't like how... Bad. That one defenseman's category C. But you know what? Maybe we'll let him grow. Maybe we'll let him play the year and see what happens. So, uh, Fitz has three years at $1 million. Because we just signed him and he's 85 overall. What a stud muffin. Okay. Uh, what did I do again? I did something. Why is Newhook 86 overall here? What the heck? Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I brought up Robertson. Okay. So let's go to roster moves. And I'm just gonna plop him in here. No, he's a... Actually, he's a centerman, is he not? Yeah, he is. Okay, no, I overstepped my boundary. Boom, there you go. So yeah, Newhook is 86 now. So I think I should play him on the, the third line here. And Robertson... Maybe I'll play Franklin Evans down here as well. Um, he is left wing, shoots left. But that third line could put up points, man. Like, this could be a point-getting third line. I'm just wondering if it might be worth, like, bringing... No. Because I like the plus one down here with Cop, Evans, and Miles Wood. Okay. So I think we're going to run with this team and see what happens here. I like it. And let me actually send Kapari down, maybe. So that that is out of the way. And we can still play him, at least. He won't be scratched the entire year. So let's go down and find him. Kapari... You did good for us and all, but, um, yeah, no waivers right now, so that's okay. And to the AHL, we shall go. Preferred lines. Kapari, you're getting replaced, but you're going right back up. You're going to be on the first line. Congratulations. Uh, you can play with Grandland. And I think I brought some other players up. Like, wasn't there medium top nine? Okay, top six. Okay, yeah, so these guys are medium elites. They are coming up. Uh, 74 overall. I kind of want to play him, like, up here. I'll play him there. Second line's good enough. And you are also medium elite. So you can play... You're only 68 overall, so you know what? Oh, that plus two is a thing of beauty. I got way too excited for that. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. Defense, yeah, we're all good. And goalies, all righty. Okay, let's get this season sim underway. I just finished recording the off-season video where... I made some crazy maneuvers, and I'm not even waiting to see what the comments are for you guys ripping me apart for the moves that I made to start recording the next one, aka this one. So let's see how things go here. We're off to a very nice start. That is immaculate. Okay, nice. We turn things around a little bit. That's just how we do. You know, we start off poo, and then we spin it around. TSN turning point. Okay, the regular season is here. And we have a 2-in-1 start. There we go. Another W. Another W. Nice. I'm liking the way this team is shaping up already. 
Montreal Canadiens have already fired their head coach. You hate to see it. And now, obviously, they have a new head coach, so they're going to beat us. That's just how it works. You know, you got to play good for the new coach in the first game, typically. Nice. We're ripping it up. 9-3-0. and Let's hope we can keep up this pace and maybe get another President's Trophy under our belt. Perhaps. That would be splendid. 5-0 loss to the Rangers. Ew. That hurt. But you know what? It's okay. Because we are bouncing back and getting some big wins here. 8-4, 7-1, 5-2 over the Leafs. There you go. Nick Robertson getting his revenge. The team is very solid up till this point. With a record of 18-7-1. We finally got an overtime loss. Nice. Big win there. Oh, you're going to get shut out. Seriously. I'm curious to see who's going to be leading for points on this team. And I wonder how many points that third line will end up getting. I hope they get a lot. They're designed to get points. This team is meant to score goals. So, you know, if we can do that uh, successfully, then who cares what happens in our own end? <laughs> Doesn't matter. As long as we're putting up goals, which we are not doing recently. Okay, a couple, actually a few losses in a row, but we bounce back with a shootout win over Smashville. Another loss there, and the Senators have fired their head coach now. A couple coaches have been let go. Nice, big win over Arizona to bounce back after an L. Another head coach has gone. The Wild firing their head coach. This seems to be just the year of coach firing, because normally it does not happen this much. Okay, we're losing more games than I would like at this point in time. So if we could, you know, maybe start to win a few more here, that would be sick. President's Trophy... Definitely not looking like a guarantee. <laughs> it is still looking like we could potentially do it. Because, you know, only four points separate us from the top. Oh, not, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. The Sharks have absolutely pulled away. But, yeah, we're 36, 21, and 4. Coming in on the deadline here. Let's see. Who has the most points? Uh, Reincraft with 61. So he's point a game right now. And then Miro with 53. Boss has 50, but he has only 20 goals. What is that? You're supposed to be the goal scorer, man. Ah, oh, Raymond 47, Zegris 44. And yeah, I guess Robertson. Yeah, he's got 22, plus 4. Not too shabby, I suppose. And this guy's a plus 11. Is he growing at all? Mm, doesn't really look like it. Goalies. Teal is not playing superb. Very interesting. McNaughton is actually doing a little bit better with 909, but he also has a much smaller sample size, about half. So that is something to consider. Huh. Well, should I maybe do best lines and see if it makes a difference? Like, what would the best lines be? Let's go here. And preferred lines. No, I don't want him up here. I don't think I want him up here. I really want boss on that first line. Uh, he shoots right, so it makes more sense to have him over here. What if we moved Fitz up? Oh, we are not doing that. Um, new hook. He shoots left. We could try it. Doesn't hurt. Play Raymond. Because he's probably like a third line. Yeah. Uh, with Fitz. Because he shoots right, so he can play on this side with Zgris. Okay. Um, and we have left winger here. I have no idea if this is going to make any difference whatsoever, but a man can dream. Okay, so we have these lines here now, which seem to be all right. I don't know if I want to make any moves at the deadline. I don't think I do. Goalies, Teal, and McNaughton still, obviously. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens here. Raymond on the second line. Maybe it'll work out, and maybe it will not. Uh, let's send to the next game and send this one in real time just to see what happens. This might be the decider if I do anything at the trade deadline. If we rip up the Golden Knights, then perhaps I will leave it. First period. Okay, amazing. Second period. Uh-huh. And lovely. Love that for me. Great. So now I might make a move at the deadline. <laughs> Let us sim to the next game. Simulate. And we will go and be a conservative buyer. Not that it really makes a difference, I don't think. But let's enter the trade deadline. Here we go. Connor Geeky, 89 overall. I think he was a free agent as well this year. Barrett Hayton. Uh, Sir Whoa, I didn't say Sergachev could be on the block. The heck is that all about? Well, 
Um, that is cap, first of all. But anyway, uh, hmm. We don't need a centerman, really. I'm definitely not getting rid of Sergachev. I'll tell you that for free. Steel. He is also a centerman. There's a lot of centers going on here. Breland. What about this guy? Kirill Breland. What's going on with him? Could you replace boss? Boss sucks. And everyone's on the chopping block right now. Oh my goodness. Look at that shooting category. Yeah. We're getting rid of Elliot Moose on the loose. I don't care. And they want him too. That's incredible. I'm going to do it. His value is low because of how insane. They're like the same player. But this guy's shooting category is just immaculate. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to try for it. Um, I know that Boss was like homegrown. You know, we drafted him here. And we did some great things, Boss. But I think it's come to an end. Let's try it. Oh my goodness. They think they came out ahead? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. The team wasn't really popping off. But it's about to tell you that for free. Okay, edit lines. Uh, edit lines. And uh, there's probably so many people in the comments very upset with that. But you know what? Got to do what you got to do sometimes, all right? Raymond can play on the second line still. What if I move Robertson back up? Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Maybe I'll just do best lines because it seems like the AI always seems to know what's best. Except for when they... Put what's his face on the first line. Um, Ly Lysel, I think, was his name. So I'm actually going to move Fitz up. We'll have Torsten playing on the second line with Zegris and Breelin. Yeah. This guy's shooting category is intense, man. Intense. Okay, let me move Robertson up. Let me move Newhook up. Actually, hmm... Maybe, what's Fitz? He's listed as a second line forward. So maybe I'll do that. He's listed as a third line forward. So Torsten can play on the third line where he is listed. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. We got Alex Newhook at 86. And then these two guys together. And then we have Breland. Uh, okay, so that could work. But I'm definitely not doing that. Okay, you know what? I'm running with it. I am running with this till the end of the year. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We're going to find out. And here we go. Uh, not too long left, but it's long enough that it definitely makes a difference with the line changes. Okay, so we lost one there, but then we won three in a row. Make that four in a row. Make that five in a row. Make that six in a row. Holy crap. Ah, we couldn't get seven. That's all right. We bounce back with two wins. Okay, here we go. Definitely generating some offense here. I love to see it. 4-3 overtime loss. I will certainly be taking that. Okay, we are back in the in the discussion here. We might be able to get the President's Trophy if we finish out strong. Ah, uh, shootout loss. That might still be enough. That might still be enough. And I don't know how the other divisions were doing. But I think we won our division at least. So let's uh, let's check here. Let's check. We got 51 wins on the year. And we did win our division by one point. So that overtime loss... Did actually help us out. And we ended up with a 66.5 point percentage. Let's go to the entire league. And, ah, the Pittsburgh Penguins. They beat us. I don't know what it goes. It goes down to row. Yeah, they beat us in the uh, regulation plus overtime wins. That is lame. Wow, we were right there. We almost had it. Okay, well, let's go back now. Ryan Krebs had 80 points. Huh. Only 80. Interesting. Breland had 58 and 29 goals. So, Reinkraft is 40 and 40. He put up bits. But, yeah. I thought we were getting more points than that. Anyway, our second line centerman got more than our first line. Well, the same amount as our first line winger. And Newhook ended up putting up 48. I don't really want to hold him, you know, accountable too much. Because he was on, like, the third line, I think. Or maybe the second line at some point. But... How do I check the season stats? Yeah, 48, it's like it's good for him. So that's all right. I think it's the fact that it took me a while to promote him. So I'm going to... I'll let him slide this time. And if we scroll all the way down here, okay. So looking pretty good. We have a dash 2 for Miles Wood and dash 1 for Evans. Did any of these players grow? 
Uh, probably not. Robertson, he's still at 84. He put up 32. He was on the third line all year, though. Listed as a second liner, so sorry about that. Things must be done. Yeah, that shooting category is intense. I have no idea how this guy's not putting up like a million goals. Absolutely bonkers. He is a sniper, obviously. It'd be hard to say that he's not with stats like that. On top of that, he has 88 poise. What a beauty. This guy's going to be sick in the playoffs. I can already tell. He's going to be a stud muffin. Kirill the Thrill, baby. We have our own. All right, goalies. So a 902 from Teal with 279 and a 920 229 from McNaughton. Add a boy, Caden. What an absolute icon. Okay. So we almost had the President's Trophy this year. We were right there, but we couldn't quite do it. Obviously, we're not going to win the Art Ross or anything like that with the amount of points we had. Probably would have been faster to go up, but too late. Yeah, Strom put up 105. Holy smokes. Matthews, 104. Uh, Zachary Benson with 99. Good for you. ADB, 96. Uh, William Eklund, 95. Jason Robertson with 92. Okay. So there we have it. Uh, goalies, let's see here. So Olnefelt, Hugo. At 85 overall, put up 40 Ws, a 907. Shields put up uh, 39 wins, 915. Thatcher Demko at 83 overall, still getting it done. And we have 916 as the best save percentage on the front page here for Samsonov. Nice. Okay. So I think that is pretty much it. Uh, let me show you the playoff tree. I haven't checked the AHL at all. I don't know what is going on down there. So I guess we should maybe do that, but this is how the playoffs shaped up. And let me switch over to the AHL real quick. Okay, Kapari probably lit the lamp this year. 76 points from Olafsson, who's down to a 78 overall. So they did pretty good. They finished 8-2-0, which is awesome. And let's go to the team stats here. So they finished third in the division. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll take that for sure. And if we go to the player stats, uh, 76, we got Kapari with 75. He's actually at 83 overall. He, like, went up. Uh, okay. And Granlund is the guy that seems to be stuck. He's still not going anywhere for some reason. Wesley Bits. Like, do I have to call him up, maybe? Will that help him? He's already 26, though. Like, he's pretty much just done. He's, like a career he's got low bottom six potential now. When the heck did that happen? All right, I guess maybe if I called him up, he would have he would have spiked. But yeah, he just fell off a cliff. That's unfortunate. Uh, goalies, Byron did pretty good. Medium fringe starter, ended up with a 9-11-228. So love to see that. Okay. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if we go here, can I switch here? Yes, I can. So again, this is the playoff tree. We have the Vancouver Canucks in round number one. For year 10, I believe we're in. I think it's 10. But yeah, I will see you guys for round number one.